What is going on YouTube? Username Kite562 here, and I have a re manga review for you, and it's the manga Doubt by Yoshiki Tonegai. Now, with this review, I shall be reviewing both Omnibus Volumes of Volume 1 and of Volume 2, right here. Now, from a lot of reviews that I've seen, this manga is kind of like a crossover between Saw and Among Us. Me, I enjoyed the story. However, I think it seems like Among Us, but Saw, not so much. Again, with anything comedic or horror related, it's subjective. What you might find funny, I might not find funny. What you might find scary, I might not. I might not find scary. Sorry about that. So anyway, I just wanted to give you my thoughts and keep this as spoiler free as possible. Now, Doubt is a manga written by Yoshiki Tonegai in these omnibus editions. The two-in-ones are published by Yen Press. And so again, this manga is written and illustrated by Yoshiki Tonegai. But I have to say, I really enjoyed this story as a whole. However, I wouldn't compare it to Saul in a way. To me, when I read it and saw some of the panels, it really reminded me of a basic haunted house like horror scenario. So, kinda. And I get why some people might say it reminds them of Saul in a way. Kinda. Survival game-ish. But all in all, it's a really nice and decent story. I completed both volumes in three days, so six days in total. And anyway, it's just really interesting. Here's a view of the cast. And I'll read you the back of Volume 1. Rabbit Doubt, a mobile phone game, has taken Japan by storm. In it, players are rabbits who must uncover the wolf in rabbit's clothing before falling prey to its wiles, as well as its teeth. When a group of players decide to meet offline, the last thing they expect is to lose consciousness and wake up trapped in an abandoned building. Mysterious barcodes tattooed on their bodies and a corpse strung up in front of them. To stay alive, they have to but one option, to sniff out the lying wolf. In their mist, will these virtual acquaintances be able to pull it together in the real world and avoid ending up the wolf's dinner now the back of the volume one really pulled me in and it it's a really enjoyable reread as a series again i'm going to keep this review as spoiler free as possible but to me when i got to volume two i could really predict who the killer was i just didn't expect that unique twist ending it just it was really fascinating i mean what yoshiki did is just really interesting and really out of left field which is a good thing which is a good thing i mean it's just absolutely wonderful and the visuals as i showed are pretty nice so i mean some visuals like this the artwork's kind of basic but the story as a whole is really enjoyable again this is another re halloween reread choice on my shelf so yeah give doubt a try there's these omnibus editions the two-in-ones originally it was a four volume series which i think it came out in 2009 originally if I'm wrong, you can correct me in the comments, and I apologize. 
so yeah this is like my review of both volumes of doubt the killer was predictable to me but all in all the ride of the story itself was really something unique and really something familiar it was like a to me a haunted house with stakes of lives i mean this manga's for like in my opinion older teen audience which that's what it yeah older teen level <laughs> so 16 plus to 18 plus 17 plus yeah but anywho doubt to me is a really enjoyable manga and it's just really unpredictable it's a nice horror story it's just really enjoyable and i know there's tons of other horror manga out there that i'm waiting to dig into i mean i got a lot of junji ito stuff on my list but hey <laughs> you gotta start somewhere so yeah this has been my spoiler free review of doubt if you want a spoiler review of it please let me know in the comments anyway this is kite 562 i hope you have a wonderful day and i'm signing out later everybody <laughs>